question number 164 it has four parts so if you look at the first part a question a part solve x dx plus y dy equal to a square into x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square so if you compare it with the previous question which was x dx plus y dy plus x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square it, you can see that it is a slight variation uh, there is a slight variation in question 160 question 164 is a slight variation of question 163 what is the change there is a negative sign here so if you take all the terms if you take the terms this this term uh, so th uh, this term to the right hand side uh, you will get negative of what is here so you can say that a minus a square minus a square uh, was added to question 163 to add it to this part uh, for uh, uh, there is only that difference so for that reason uh, the in the answer if you the answer of question 163 was x square plus y square minus 2 tan inverse x by y equal to c dash so the answer to the the steps will be same just that there will be a minus a square and the sorry uh, step will be same and the answer will be something like this this we just okay instead of minus 2 tan inverse x by y we will have okay just plus there will be plus plus 2a square tan inverse x by y plus c so this is the solution to a part me just uh, if you observe the b part and compare it with a <coughs> Sorry. you can see that uh, b is exactly same as a it's just that x square plus y square is um, like, um, we uh, multiplied LHS and RHS by x square plus y square uh, in question A you will get question B so or if you divide B by x square plus y square on both sides you will get question A so A and B will have same answer so x square plus y square plus 2a square tan inverse x by y equal to c dash so for A and B the answer will be same i will just show the question the steps of question number 163 just these are the steps it will be the same steps just there will be an addition of a square so for question a and b the answer will be same and what is c let's take let's solve c Let's copy this to a new page. So, if you take uh, x common, we get x into square plus y square dx plus you take y common from this side so we get y into y square plus y common x square dy plus a square y dx minus a square x dy equal to 0 so that means you take x square plus y square common we get x dx plus y dy 
into x square plus y square is equal to if you take a square at this terms to the right hand side we have a square into so x dy minus y dx okay so this is x this is same as question b x dx plus y dy into x square plus y square is equal to a square into x dy minus y dx so exactly same so question c and b are exactly same and we will have same answer uh, which is x square plus y square plus 2a square tan inverse xy y equal to c dash now question d if you take question d it is a special case of question b where a square is equal to 1 so we, uh, so uh, all the uh, rest is same so instead if we apply a is equal to 1 to this solution we will get the solution to question d so this question d is uh, x square the solution is x square plus y square plus 2a square it's 2 tan inverse y by x is equal to c dash oh so, yeah this is the answer so even that is solved so that solves all the questions in question question 164 but before proceed ending the solution uh, I just want to show a alternative approach to solve question number 164 a which is let me just paste if you are familiar with different differentiations uh, you can easily integrate this and find the solution so before I will just bring down bring all the terms in the right hand side to LHS which which becomes x dy sorry x dy x dx plus y dy minus a square into uh, y dx minus x dy by x square plus y square so <clears throat> x dx plus y dy is nothing but d of x y okay similarly this part this is differential of tan inverse y by x so which is minus you can write minus a square d of tan inverse y by x so is equal to uh, which was here it was equal to zero so equal to uh, d of a constant d of a constant differential of a constant is zero so we can write d of constant so if we know these these are differential of these terms we can easily integrate and write x y uh, oh sorry i made a mistake differential of x y is x d y minus y x d y plus y d x here it is uh, i made a mistake so, sorry here it is d of x square by 2 similarly d of y square by 2 okay now if you integrate throughout we will get uh, x square by 2 plus y square by 2 minus a square tan inverse y by x is equal to a constant so multiplying throughout by 2 we get x square plus y square minus 2 a square a 
okay there is a mistake okay this is plus right y dx since we applied negative sign inside it becomes plus it is plus 2a square tan inverse y by x equal to c so yeah you can obtain answer in similar manner if if you identify all the terms if if you identify uh, uh, some kind of functions uh, all the terms as differential of some kind of functions so for doing such uh, so finding uh, for fi finding solution like this manner it it comes in handy to know differential of certain common functions i'll show you these are some of common functions that you can use to find solution in a similar manner so if you have dxy you will have x dy plus y dx if so in your differential equation the if there is a x dy plus y dx and all the other terms are functions of xy you can use the substitution x dy plus y dx is d of xy Similarly, d of y by x is x dy minus y dx by x square and uh, differential of log y by x is x dy minus y dx by xy. So if in case of x square, if you have denominator x as s square and the top as x dy minus y dx, you use d of y by x. And if it if the denominator is xy, you use log y by x. So similarly, if the denominator is x square plus y square, you can use tan inverse y by x, which is what we used in the previous question. So y dx minus x dy by x square plus y square. So here, uh, it was x dy. Okay. Okay. Let me just check. Question was x dy minus y dx. Okay. So here it is not y dx minus x dy. It was. Uh, so if it if you write plus a square, uh, yeah, this is right only plus a square y dx minus x dy. So this is tan inverse x by y. So it is x by y, right? So it is since uh, if you, if you it is let me just first function into differential of second function, right? Uh, since we have y dx minus x dy, first function uh, here you have first second function in differential of function so it will be y by x, x into dy. So here if it was y by x it will be x into dy minus y into dx so instead we have y into dx so it will be x by y answer is Okay, it is tan inverse x by y. Here it is a mistake, so it was x by y, not y by x. Two a square tan inverse x by y. Okay. So the reason why uh, it is x by y and not y by x is uh, if you differentiate this tan inverse x by y, what do you get? 
1 by to, uh, d of tan inverse y by x is so, sorry x again okay. tan inverse x by y is 1 by 1 plus the square of this x square plus y square into differential of x by y which is y into dx y into dx minus x into dy minus x into dy by y square so this becomes uh, y dx minus x dy by x square plus y square this is how we get y dx minus x dy if it it was tan inverse y by x the it becomes x dy minus y dx uh, by uh, x square and since uh, here also it changes so all, all the rest remain same the order only really changes x dy minus y dx it becomes so that's why it is x by y here so even here here it was tan inverse y by x so y into dx minus x into dy sorry x into dy minus y into dx second function into differential of first minus first function into differential of second right so here y into dx minus x into dy that's why this here okay so all the rest remain same so that's the only uh, if you uh, these are some functions Simil similarly if you know the d, uh, d of tan inverse y by x as this or d of half log x plus y by x minus y as this whenever you see such uh, terms in differential equation you can substitute it with this in the and integrate it the entire thing without using any particular solution you can directly integrate it and find the solution easily so here even x dx plus y dy x dx is a differential of x square by 2 uh, even that is one um, differential we can uh, very easily find uh, so uh, x, square, x dx y dy becomes d of x square by 2 d of y square by 2 and this we know that a square uh, x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square so denominator is x square plus y square so we know it is tan inverse x by y so we just apply that and integrate it and to get the final answer so this is one alternate solution that you can use to solve such questions so yeah these are the ones that other useful results that will come in handy to solve questions in a similar manner okay so that is the solution to question number 164